Hello everyone. This video I'm just going to go over some of the new stuff we got with the December uh, update as far as the pond goes because they added a few things to the pond. Some of the stuff still isn't here yet because this is only day two of the test server. But I'm going to go ahead and get in the water. As you see I have on just the tennis shoes. You can see we find a number we can head towards. There we go. That perfect. That orange base is good. So going as fast as I can is just the shoes. You know obviously it's going to be slower because it's just shoes. When I switch to the fin flops it's a noticeable speed increase. And then you go to Fin Flops Plus, it may not seem noticeable, but you are actually going a little bit faster. Also, too, if you take a look in the 4 and 5 slot of my hot patch down here in the, in the middle, the 4 is a Slime Lantern, 5 is a Slime Lantern Plus. The damage you see on the 2 is me holding them roughly about the same amount of time. Maybe holding 4 is a little bit longer than 5. But the Slime Lantern Plus now lasts twice as long as the Slime Lantern, so you don't have to take as many with you when you're going underwater. As well as you get Fin Flops Plus, which makes you swim faster. And yes, I am stalking the fish because I'm going to prove a point once and for all. And everybody's going to say, we already know that because it's in the, in the thing, that this fish is uh, mean. But the thing about the fish is, he will try to eat you. And if you're unlucky, he will actually swallow you whole. So I'm not done with him yet. He thinks he can get away. Back here, Kevin. Even though technically the fish is named Trudy 2. Trudy the second. After the scientist who shrunk everybody's wife, whose name was Trudy. If you found the wedding ring in the bottom of the pond, inscribed in the inside is the initials W and T. Wendell and Trudy. And here we go. If you get too close or unlucky, you're not paying attention, you still have a chance to get away. But if you don't move, he swallows you whole. And you could be gulped by the, the koi, you could be made a snack by the koi, and then you respawn, and your bag is now who knows where. Why am I in the brig? So it looks like my bag is up on the water surface, because, you know, your stuff floats, which is nice, and it's not inside the fish, which would have been a pain. I would have just reloaded a save, an older save. Oops. So I just want to get my stuff real quick. And then I will go back and aggro him one more time. And this time when he tries to eat me, I'll show you that he's actually pretty easy to get away from. So you don't have to like freak out um, right away. I want the fish to try to eat me again. I know it sounds stupid, but um, Kevin, Kevin, I don't care if you think your name's Tr uh, Trudy. Come here, Kevin. Don't make me poke you with a spear. So he'll do that, and then if you just swim, you can easily get away from him because he sits there. He doesn't move. He just sits there. The main thing is he's trying to eat you. So while he does aggro, if you just keep moving, you'll be fine. I'll do it again. This time I'm a poking. Oh, I don't have a spear. I do, but it's not on me. See? He's going to try and eat, and as long as you just swim away. So, while the fish is aggressive, regardless of what one of my mods likes to tell me, he's easy to get away from. Just keep swimming. Like Dory said, just keep swimming. Pretty sure at least a few of the people watching this video are like, great, now I have that stuck that uh bit from the movie stuck in my head. You're welcome. Alright. So that was all I wanted to go over the video is just we get Fin Flops Plus. And oh sorry, Fin Flops Plus is this one. And the new Slime Lantern Plus. My stuff's all out of whack because I had to go pick it up off the from the floating. So to craft those, I'll go ahead and show that real quick. The fin flops plus the crafting is the exact same. It's still four boatman fins, two eelgrass strands, and two lily pad wax. It's the exact same recipe. And then if you go to workbench tools, scroll over down, slime lantern plus, also the exact same recipe. Four slime mold stalks, four eelgrass strands, and four lily pad wax. So the recipes have not changed. The product that the recipe makes is now better. So. 
Hope if you guys like like this content and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, and if you are subscribed, I do uh, stream on this channel five days a week. You'll get notifications when I go live. You can stop by, say hi. Feel free to ask me questions uh, about whatever game I'm playing or if I'm not playing the game you want to talk about, but ask the question anyway. I probably may or may not know the answer. If it's about Grounded, I, I might. Um, I do have a video on getting the um, the chip sleuth done for the sunken treasure, including finding the key and all the uh, raw science requirements. That's a video that I'll have linked in the description below. So you guys can use that video to find the, to be able to get to the Virgo chip so that you can then get access to the Finflops Plus, the Slime Lantern Plus, as well as another video I have will be for on the splat burst which is a new sticky grenade so you have to make brat burst bat, brat burst first and then stick the splat burst which use whatever it hits it sticks to we're going to try that on some spiders in a video here in a little bit um <clears throat> like i said make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and until the next video y'all have a good one